In today's video, I'm going to show you how to reconfigure controller input in emulation station. So if you are not satisfied with the predefined some button mapping in any way, so you can redo it yourself. Okay, press start. And we see the main menu, and then go to configure input. Okay, from here, you want to press any button. Okay, it's the D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right, star, select. Okay, here is the tricky part. Because the Xbox 360 controller I'm using has different button layout than the emulation station illustration. So we can see that the A, B, X, Y, the positions are swapped. So you want to map A here to the left one. So you don't want to see the position, the east or south, north, you don't want to see the position, okay? You want to see the actual letter. So when it says button A, so you press the green button, the A, and then B, and for X, you press the X, the blue button, X. Okay, Y, okay, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, right thumb, left analog up, down, left, right. Be very careful because you don't want to mess up. Otherwise, you will have to redo it, start it over, okay. The hotkey enable, so we use the select. And here on the Xbox 360 controller, it is the back button, okay? All right. Okay, press A. Okay, now we can see. Okay, you wanna go to arcade. Okay, now we can see the X button works as confirm the Y button works as exit or back. Thank you. I hope uh, this video is helpful.